Hello my loves, it's great to be here with you again and today in this video we will be talking about lymphatic drainage, the first part of the facial, the initiation of most facials. It is extremely a productive part of the facial, however, if done incorrectly or if protocol is not followed and questions are not asked, lymphatic drainage could be actually hazardous to the client's health and well-being. So in this video, I would love to talk about all the dangers of incorrectly done lymphatic drainage or lymphatic drainage that done inappropriately for each particular client uh, and about how to do it and what to ask to make sure that we don't cause any harm to the client who came for aesthetic beauty but we could cause the client a problem with health if we didn't do it correctly. So this is for institutions and on the other side, it's for the clients. I think that we should be aware also as a client or in any industry, what we are going to for and what we should expect and what should and shouldn't be done. So if you guys are interested in this topic, please stick with me till the end of this video because we're gonna be learning about lymphatic drainage a lot. My loves, for those of you who doesn't know me, my name is Helena Pahava and I'm a licensed esthetician, licensed practicing esthetician for almost 30 years. And in this video, we will be talking about a um, very delicate subject, lymphatic drainage. From one side, it's very delicate, but from the other side, it became a very trendy word. Uh, lymphatic drainage massage, lymphatic drainage facial. And then when you look at the facial, for example, on internet, you understand that it has nothing to do with lymphatic drainage. So before before we get to lymphatic drainage, we have to understand what lymph is and what lymphatic fluid altogether has anything to do with beauty. Well, lymphatic system in general, and then we're gonna go to the face, is a part of our circulatory system. As a blood, we have a blood flows through the whole body. Lymphatic fluid also flows through the whole body. Lymphatic fluid flows upwards on your body and downwards on your face. However, this is how they are different. The heart has its own motor. I mean, the blood has its own motor, which is the heart. And heart pumps the blood going through our vessels, correct? When lymph doesn't have its own motor, and the way lymph, lymphatic fluid, travels through our body is by physical effect on it. So when we are moving, it's a very mechanical process that is caused by the motion of our body and the vessels around lymphatic um, vessels. So the blood vessels around lymphatic vessels, they push also a little bit lymphatic vessels and they travel through the body. The function of lymphatic fluid in our body is the function of a cleaning and filtering. So what lymphatic fluid does, it tra travels through our body and takes out the toxins and things that our body cannot use. It's also a huge protector because when you're about to get sick, when you are about to get the virus, when virus enters your body, lymphatic fluid, especially in here, we have a lymph nodes, you all know them, right, underneath the chin, they get activated and they sift through understanding, like, is this a virus? And it collects fluid in that place, not allowing the virus to move through the body. This is where the danger of inappropriate lymphatic drainage on client face comes from. So lymphatic system is made to clean the toxins and the fluids that we don't want from our system. It works throughout your body. The water penetrates into intercellular fluids and then you decrease it with going to the bathroom, with uh, to urinate, uh, with sweating actually. And even when you are uh, cleaning your nose and when you're coughing, it's all the fluids that also have lymphatic fluid with it. So what it does, it cleans us. Now, why do we 
even care about lymphatic fluid while we do a facial. It's an aesthetic procedure. Well, because sometimes lymphatic fluid collects itself in our faces, especially underneath our eyes, uh, in nasal labials, in the depressors, in our neck. Sometimes you see people have very thick neck and it doesn't drain down due to the poor posture, due to sedentary lifestyle, due to inactivity, due to not eating good food and a lot of toxins accumulate in your body, a lot of chemicals. And in that case, lymphatic fluid can be stuck in your face and it's gonna give you pockets on the face that are very unattractive. So why do we do lymphatic drainage as estheticians? Because if you well, if you did well lymphatic drainage, have the facial is done. You want the game of facial because you're gonna drain the pockets. You're gonna drain unevenness on the face. You're gonna make neck look slender. You're gonna make double chin look smaller or disappear altogether. If you will be able to target lymphatic fluid really well, then you almost, as I told you, win the game of facial. However, and this is why I actually made this video because one of the ladies on Instagram wrote to me that inspired by me, she went to a practitioner, got lymphatic drainage, facial massage, and uh, after that she feels like one of her lymph glands, probably not here or in here, is swollen. Uh, and she asked me if this is normal after facial. I have answered her that I have assumed that practitioner asked her host of the questions that I will tell you right now that you need to ask. I assume that she answered no to all of them. Therefore, I don't think it has anything to do with facial. The lady answered to me, thank you for caring and no questions weren't asked. And this is where problem begins. So in order to give a smooth and beautiful appearance, I absolutely agree we need to perform lymphatic drainage. However, if you are going to perform lymphatic drainage on person with lymphoma, which is a form of cancer, person who goes undergoes right now chemotherapy or um, uh, goes through any kind of sickness, flu, uh, viruses, and even very strong allergy, you're gonna cause that person a harm. Why? Because let's say you just contracted the virus and your glands, your tonsils are trying to guard the virus from going into the system. You came to facial, the facial with lymphatic drainage being performed. How do we do lymphatic drainage on facial? We manually move that fluid and drain it downwards. We first do it with the breathing exercises, which proper breath really helps lymphatic to, fluid to go down. And then we literally manually move lymphatic fluid. By the way, when we move lymphatic fluid, this is for esthetician students, on the face especially, the hand has to be very light because lymphatic fluid is pretty superficially placed in our faces. If you're gonna go really deep on a soft tissue in the face, it's gonna burst and you're not gonna, that your client is not, not gonna look as good. When you're going down on the face, on the chest, and the um, armpits, you can give a little bit more the last push, could be a little more stronger, right? That very last push. But <laughs> we're not talking about that right now. So if client is sick, if client doesn't necessarily feel well right now, and you perform active lymphadrenage, lymphatic drainage, you know what you're doing? You're spreading that virus throughout the uh, client's, uh, client's body. So instead of helping the client and uh, just beautifying her, you're actually making her sick. So in that case, what we do, we avoid the active lymphadrenage, lymphatic drainage, and we just work on the chest first. So that first step that usually we have uh, in facial, which is active lymphadrenage or just lymphadrenage, we avoid it. And we explain to client, if she came for lymphadrenage, that we cannot perform it on you. Because right now, your lymph nodes are working as your guards. And if I'm going to start pushing your lymph down into your body, you are going to get sick. We don't want that. You come in for facial to look better, to feel better, to feel healthier. So by me pushing the lymphatic fluid that right now is really not in a good place, it actually contaminated with the virus down on your body, 
um, you got, you, you're gonna get sick and uh, it's gonna, why, why am I having a facial done anyways? So I remember very long time ago, now I'm talking about allergies. I had my favorite client, Heidi, who I know for 20 years, she's still a client, uh, but Heidi was getting married. When Heidi came for facial, she told me that she had allergies. She wasn't sick. She didn't have uh, any kind of viruses. But when I was talk taking a course on lymphatic drainage, uh, allergies were mentioned, but really not that much. So I figured, you know what? I will drain her very well. I've been told that, you know, if allergy is severe, a person cannot drain, breathe and do not touch the, the sinus place. But never, nobody ever emphasized that if they have allergies, don't do strong lymphatic drainage. So Heidi is coming last facial before her wedding. And her wedding is across the country on uh, the West Coast. So she's coming here uh, to me for facial. We're doing her facial. And next day, Heidi sent me a picture. She has hugely swollen eyes. Guys, I was never so scared in my life. I went from New Jersey to Brooklyn twice just to look at Heidi. I know there was nothing I could have done except for telling her to drink a lot of water. By the way, if every time you perform lymphatic drainage, your client has to drink a lot of water. I couldn't do much, but I was petrified. I was hurt. I went, I literally went a couple of times to Brooklyn to look at her and walk out, but to see the progression. Everything ended up being beautiful. Heidi was a beautiful bride, but for me, it was the biggest lesson of my life. Even when people have strong allergies, I don't do lymphatic drainage, even the light one, because I know what can happen. Lymph is going to protect you. And what is the lymph's way to protect? It accumulates in a pocket and sits there and grows on you. So the histamine, right? Because the allergies and the viruses won't go through your body. So what is the most important thing for healthy lymph actually is your mobility, right? As, as a client, you need to drink a lot of water to flush the fluid and you need to be pretty active and mobile person because remember, lymph doesn't have its own motor. You, your activity, your physical, your muscular activity moves your lymph throughout the body. Lymph is your clean, cleaner and lymph is your protector. It's extremely important fluid. But when you're sick, if you have cancer, if you have strong allergies, and even when you're pregnant, because when baby is in your stomach, especially in the later times in your pregnancy, it changes how your organs are in the body. Don't play with it. Do not do active lymphatic drainage. Reserve to extremely superficial, next to none. If you don't know, and if this case, should I do lymphatic drainage or not, Reserve yourself to not doing it. You still can perform beautiful facial without performing lymphatic drainage on the client, but you're gonna preserve client from a big problem and yourself too. As I told you, lymphatic drainage should be done with a very light hand on the face, with a little stronger hand underneath, and never, ever, ever do lymphatic drainage on a sick person, person who doesn't appeal. Sometimes clients come, they don't even know they're sick. Oh, I'm under the weather, or I just feel sluggish. Watch, assess, make your own decisions. Protect the client and protect yourself. You rather not to do it today, do it next time, wow your client next time, but you're not gonna cause the problem. As I told you, lymphatic drainage became very fancy, it's very trendy, and everybody tries to do it, but this particular part of the facial is health-related, and it could be health hazardous. Please look into it very deeply. Don't just watch one YouTube video and just go into deep lymphatic drainage. Superficial lymphatic drainage that you do for yourself at home, it's fine. It, it's not gonna cause you much harm. But if you know you're gonna go for a deep lymphatic drainage with a breathing exercise and pushing client's fluid down the chest especially, you make sure your client is healthy at the moment. And that way you're gonna have great result and client is gonna be 
happy to drink a lot of water after lymphatic drainage massage because you can release a lot of toxins from your tissues between your cells from your face from your chest and you want to drink a lot of water so you could urinate the toxic fluid out exercise because you want to sweat you also take the toxic fluid out via exercises you can do sauna but if not if you have rosacea rosacea and sauna don't go together and uh, that's pretty much it be very careful with your clients because all we want to do is we want to make them beautiful we certainly don't want to make them feel sick and to answer finally the question i don't think a superficial aesthetic lymphatic drainage can cause long-term damage especially if it's only been done once because usually it goes in courses between six and ten i'm glad on you uh, it was done, I'm, re I'm responding to the lady who wrote to me on Instagram, it was done only once, it's going to go away. Or you could also be under the weather and your lymphatic uh, system actually stays guard for you and prevents you from or getting further sickness and that's why you have tonsils and then sometimes you have lymphatic swollen fluid underneath your armpits because this is your guards and they're guarding and protecting you properly to help lymphatic system to do its job move don't be sedentary eat good food drink clean water and that's pretty much it there are a couple of breathing exercises that we will have to do separate video for because we have to be very um, diligent very deliberate about them and this video is not meant to do that but a uh, healthy lifestyle will take care of your lymph. I hope I answered the questions correctly. Please be careful with lymph in a treating room. And if you have any further questions, please write to me and I will answer them for you. As always, thank you so much for your time, for your attention, and I will see you all in the next video.